The Equalizer, set in modern-day Boston, is a fresh take on the classic 80s series. It follows Robert McCall, a former Marine and DIA agent, who finds himself reluctantly drawn into stopping a sex trafficking ring run by the Russian mob. But here's the twist. Taking on the mob's psychotic enforcer puts McCall squarely in the crosshairs. Now let's talk about Denzel Washington. The first Equalizer movie was a real winner, even though critics had mixed feelings about it. But you know what speaks louder than reviews? Box office numbers. And this movie pulled in a cool $200 million, paving the way for an action-packed sequel in 2018. Now here's where it gets interesting. Equalizer 3 is being billed as the final chapter in the series, but hold up! Since its release on Netflix, it's been getting some serious love from fans. So the burning question on everyone's mind is, are we getting an Equalizer 4? Let's dive into the big question. Will we ever see the Equalizer 4? According to director Antoine Fuqua, it's not looking likely. In an interview with Digital Spy, he pretty much shut down the possibility, saying, I would say no, I think this is it. And Denzel Washington echoed this sentiment at CinemaCon 2023, suggesting, this is the end for me. However, Fuqua had previously hinted that he'd be open to directing a fourth installment, but only if Washington returned to lead the charge. In an interview with Total Film, he mentioned, I believe this would be it. We've both talked about it that way, but you never know. As for the release date, well, there's nothing on the horizon for The Equalizer 4. With no plans in motion, it's safe to say we won't be seeing it anytime soon. Considering the usual four to five year gaps between the previous movies, even if Washington decides to come back as McCall or if they opt for a prequel, it looks like we'll be waiting a while for any news on the next installment. When it comes to imagining the cast of The Equalizer 4, there's a lot of speculation swirling around. Since there has been no official announcement, we can only guess who might be involved. Of course, it's hard to imagine The Equalizer without its iconic star, Denzel. His portrayal of Robert McCall has been central to the success of the franchise, so it's safe to assume that if The Equalizer 4 were to happen, Washington would likely need to be on board in some capacity. Now, whether Washington would reprise his role as Robert McCall, or if the movie would explore a prequel or introduce a new character altogether, remains a mystery. But one thing's for sure. Washington's involvement would be a major factor in determining the project's success. There's also been talk of a potential crossover with The Equalizer TV show, which stars Queen Latifah as Robin McCall. While the characters aren't related, at least not yet, there's been speculation about the possibility of the two worlds colliding on the big screen. Queen Latifah herself has expressed openness to the idea, acknowledging that the decision ultimately lies with Denzel Washington and Antoine Fuqua. In an interview with Variety, she shared her admiration for Washington and expressed her willingness to collaborate with him in any capacity. As for the show's creator, Andrew Marlowe, he hasn't ruled out the possibility of a crossover, but emphasized that their focus is on building the identity of the Equalizer TV series around Queen Latifah's character. While a crossover isn't currently on the table, Marlowe hasn't dismissed the idea entirely, leaving the door open for future possibilities. Ultimately, whether The Equalizer 4 materializes and who ends up being part of the cast remains uncertain. With Denzel's status up in the air and the potential for a crossover with the TV series, there are many factors at play. But one thing's for sure. Fans of The Equalizer franchise will be eagerly awaiting any news or updates about the next installment. As for what we might expect from the plot of The Equalizer 4, there's no concrete storyline in the works yet. However, there are a couple of intriguing possibilities that could be explored. One option could be a prequel, delving into McCall's past as a Marine. This could provide a fascinating glimpse into his earlier life and the experiences that shaped him into the formidable character we know today. Alternatively, the story could pick up where The Equalizer 3 left off, with McCall enjoying retirement in Italy. But as we know, trouble always seems to find him. With Syrian terrorists seeking revenge and a new case involving Emma Collins, the daughter of McCall's former colleagues, there's plenty of potential for action-packed drama. And let's not forget the tantalizing prospect of exploring McCall's past through a series of flashbacks or confidential operations. This could add a whole new layer of depth to his character and uncover hidden secrets from his history. So while there's no official word on the Equalizer 4 just yet, there's no shortage of exciting possibilities to consider. Whether it's a prequel, a continuation of McCall's story, or something entirely unexpected, 
Fans of the franchise will surely be eager to see where the next installment takes them. And in the meantime, there's always the option to revisit the earlier movies and catch up on the latest season of the Equalizer TV series. In considering the potential for Equalizer 4, Anton Fuqua once toyed with the idea of digitally de-aging Denzel's character, or even casting Washington's son, John David. However, Washington himself seems to have nixed the former option, and the latter, while feasible, may not come to fruition unless Fuqua has a change of heart. Yet if Washington and Fuqua do reunite for a fourth film, the story could seamlessly continue. While some speculated that the third movie might conclude with McCall's demise, this wasn't the case. Instead, it wraps up with McCall finding a semblance of inner peace. While The Equalizer 3 feels conclusive, it doesn't preclude the possibility of a fourth installment. In a potential sequel, McCall could find himself back in action on another mission, with retirement proving to be less fulfilling than expected. With Collins now established as his new ally, she could also enlist his help for a new operation requiring his unique skill set. However, this direction risks repeating the retirement theme from the end of The Equalizer 3. Nonetheless, if the filmmakers opt for this route, they could introduce fresh elements to keep the story engaging. Perhaps McCall faces an adversary from his past, or he becomes embroiled in a high-stakes conspiracy that demands his intervention. Additionally, exploring Collins's character further and delving into her backstory could add depth to the narrative. While a direct continuation of McCall's story is one possibility, a prequel remains another intriguing option. A prequel could delve into McCall's earlier life as a Marine or his covert operations before his retirement. This approach would provide an opportunity to explore untold aspects of McCall's character and backstory, offering fans a deeper understanding of the enigmatic protagonist. Ultimately, whether The Equalizer 4 follows McCall on a new mission or delves into his past, there's potential for the franchise to continue delivering the high-octane action and compelling storytelling that audiences have come to expect. As fans await news of a potential fourth installment, they can revisit McCall's previous adventures and anticipate what thrilling exploits lie ahead for The Equalizer. And that concludes today's video. If you want to stay in the know about all the latest movie news, make sure to subscribe and give us a thumbs up. By doing so, you'll be the first to receive our future updates. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you in the next one. Remember, we're always listening to your suggestions for future videos, so feel free to drop them in the comments below.